Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.8. Today I'll be looking at the volume of rectangular prisms. Our essential question, how can you find the volume of a rectangular prism? Let's connect. The base of a rectangular prism is a rectangle. You know that the area is measured in square units, or units squared. The area of the rectangle can be found simply by multiplying the length and the width. So, length times width. So the area of the base is... 1, 2, 3 is its width, and 1, 2, 3, 4 is its base. So we have 3 and 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So the area of the base is 12 square units. Another way to write that is 12 units squared. The volume is measured in cubic units, or units cubed. When you build a prism, you add the layer of cubes that you're adding to the third dimension of height. So when you're doing area, you're doing square, but when you're doing volume, you're doing cubed because you're doing three different. Um, with area, you're doing length and width, but with volume, you're doing length, width, and height. So let's unlock the problem. Juan built a rectangular prism shown at the right using one inch cubes. The prism has a base that is a rectangular and has a height of four cubes. What is the volume of the rectangular prism that Juan built? You can find the volume of a prism in a city cubic units by multiplying the number of squares units at the base shape by the number of layers or its height. So we know that there's one, two, three, four this way, one, two, three this way. Four times three is 12, we've already said that. So that means each of these layers have, has 12 units. So there's one, two, three, four layers. And since we know that each layer, each layer is composed of 12 unit cubes, we're gonna have to figure out how much the volume is. So the first layer has 12, and then if I add the second layer with an additional 12, I get 24. I add the third layer of 12, and I get 36. And then I add the fourth layer, and I get 48. So I'm going to multiply the height by 12. Put that on there, sorry. Right? Because 12 is how many? And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So we have 4 times 3, which gave us the 12. And then I'm going to take that 12 and I'm going to multiply by the height, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 12 times 4 is 48. How does the volume change as each layer is added? Well, the volume increases by the number of cubic units in each layer. In this case, it was 12. What does the number you multiply by the height represent? Well, the number of the base shape or the number of cubes in each layer. So again, the volume of Juan's rec rectangular prism is 48 inches cubed. Let's relate height to volume. Tony stacks cubed shaped beads that measure one centimeter on each edge in the storage box. The box can hold six layers of 24 beads with no gaps or overlays. What is the volume of Tony's storage box? First of all, what are the dimensions of the base of the box? You've got to figure that part out first. When I look back here, it says that the box can hold six layers of 24 beads. Six layers of 24 beads. Well, if the layer on the bottom is 24, then I need to know what these two dimensions are. Two numbers that can work with six and 24 are four and six. Four centimeters and six centimeters. Because four times six is 24, right? That's my basic area. Now what operation can you use to find the area of a shape? Kind of gave that one away. Four, it's multiplication. Now, the volume of each bead, volume of each bead is, remember up here it says one centimeter, right? one centimeter cubed. And the storage box has a base with an area of, we already said it right here, 24. Right there, 24 centimeters squared. And the height of the storage box, we already said right here, it says it will hold six layers, is six centimeters. 
So the volume of the storage box or area is 24, because that was what our base was, times the 6, which is the height, or when I multiply that out, 24 times 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 8 is, tw 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14, so it's 144 centimeters cubed. Another way, you know that the area of the base of the storage box is 24 centimeters squared. The base has a length of 6 centimeters and a width of 4 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. So the volume of the storage box is the base, which is 6 times 4 times the 6 height. 6 times 4 times 6 or... 6 times 4 is 24 times this 6 and that gives us the 144 centimeters cubed 144 centimeters cubed just want to make sure you guys know with volume okay it is always this number times that number times that number a times b times c you can do them in any order you want. You can multiply these two together first and then multiply this one. Really, you should multiply the base first and then multiply it by the height. That's usually easier that way. All right, for your homework, let's just do a couple of them. So we've got number two. 12 times two gives me the base. 12 times two, that should be 24. Then I have to take that 24 and multiply it by the height. See, this would be my area. This, if I were to do this, inches squared. That is just this bottom one. That is the area of the bottom one, 24 inches squared. Now I'm going to add my third feature, which would make it a cube, which is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So now I have inches cubed, because I did the three dimensions. That's how I always remember it, three dimensions. So the volume is 96 inches cubed. Let's just do one more. We have 7 by 6, so we can get this bottom layer. 7 times 6 is 42. Oops. 7 times 6 is 42. And then I have to multiply it by the height, which is 2, because I have two layers. So times 2, and I get 4. I get 84. And this is feet. Make sure you write feet. And they should be cubed, because I did the three dimensions. Okay, I will be on the carpet if you need me. You can also work with a partner. Good luck.